Hi, Stephen from Mona Disson. Well, not long now until, you know, the 26th of January when all of the benchmarks will come out on the new RTX 3000 series mobile GPUs. Uh, myself, I'm getting the GE66 with the 3070 Max P, and of course, I will uh, compare that against my uh, 2070 Super. Um, Max P in my existing GE66 and also I've also tested the 2080 Super Max Q and I'll compare it against that. But what uh, I've done here, notebook check, I've um, listed quite a few different benchmarks and well you know Time Spy, Fire Strike and 3D Mark 11. They've done the 3060, the 3070 Max P and also they've done uh, the 2080 Max P although I just just tested that, looked at that on the, the Time Spy and I, what I've done in comparison for this video I've tested my 2080 uh, desktop card, so you can see how it compares to that. And also uh, a friend of mine, Andrew, he's tested the 3070 desktop card, so you can gauge the difference between uh, between them all. Um, so let's uh, have a quick look at the results. So looking at TimeSpy, the desktop 3070 is about 14% faster than the 3080 Max P, and it's about 30% faster than the 3070 Max P. So that is quite a difference there. 2080 desktop is about about 5% faster than the, the 3070 Max P uh, mobile, and uh, the 3070 Max P compared to the 2070 uh, Super, it's about 22% faster when in dedicated GPU mode. But that is reduced down to 15% gain when I overclock the 2070 Super. Now this is running the dedicated GPU mode. Now if you do use the Optimus. You know, that's about a 2% difference there. So the difference is 24% uh, with uh, Optimus and 18% uh, when the Optimus is overclocked. So it does pay to use the dedicated GPU. In terms of uh, compared to the 3060, the 2070 Super and the 3060 is pretty close. We're talking about 2 to 3% difference there in favor of the 3060. But there's not much there to choose between them. Uh, so therefore, of course, the 3070 Max P and the 3060, it's about a 20% difference. So looking at Firestrike, the 3070 Max P is the same as the 2080 desktop, but the desktop 3070 is 20% faster. And of course, this is at 1920 by 1080, so there's a little bit more CPU dependent. Now the 3060 versus the 2070 Super Max P, they're pretty much the same when using the dedicated GPU in my 2070. Super Max P, switching to Optimus, uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's actually 3% faster than the 3060. So the 3070 Max P is 21 to 28% faster than the 2070 Super Max P, whilst the 3070 is 25% uh, faster than the 3060. Now looking at 3D Mark 11, which of course is a very old test, 1280 by 720 using the performance mode, we're looking at uh, 2080 desktop, uh, the 30 versus the 3070 Max P, it's about a 7% difference there. But the desktop 2080 is running the uh, i9 10900HK, so you know it's pre CPU limited. So the 3070 versus the 3060, we're looking at 23% advantage there to the 3070 Max P compared to the 2070 Super uh, Max P. There, and um, we got uh, about 20% difference uh, for the 3070. But that's reduced down to 13% when we overclock the 2070. Uh, the 3060 versus the 2070 Super Max P, well, they're about the same. And of course, in their dedicated GPU mode, we do get a slight benefit there of about 3%. So looking at the summary, the 3070 desktop is 30% faster than the laptop 3070 Max P. You know, and that was uh, quite to be expected, really, because of the thermal restraints of a laptop. And of course, I had to reduce the, the clock speeds as well as the power usages. Um, but still, compared to the tw uh, 3080 Max P, we're looking at about a 14% difference there. So that's not so bad. In fact, the 3080 Max P is probably about the same as a 2080 Super desktop card. So, so that's not too bad. And then uh, the 3070 Max P is about the same as a desktop 2080, uh, about 20% faster than the 2070 Super Max P. Uh, which of course is reduced down to 13% when we overclock that. Now, as expected, the 3060 and the 2070 Super Max P are about the same. So how about the 3070 Max Q? Well, I'd say it's probably just ahead of an overclocked 2070 uh, Super Max P. And the 3080 Max Q, 
probably just ahead of the 2080 desktop. So all in all, not too bad. I mean, of course, we didn't expect it to be the, the same, any you know, anywhere near the same as the desktop parts for sure, but you're gonna get some decent performance nonetheless. So anyway, make sure you subscribe to catch my footage. Bookmark the 26th, because that's when it's all gonna be announced. Thank you, bye.